What makes a good engineer? Curiosity. I'd say that's number one thing. Number one, number two, a very logical mind. One plus one is two. Two plus two is four. Two plus two is not three. It's not five. It's not uh, 4.0000001. It's four. So, uh, and, and I, I think you have to have a somewhat quantitative mind. So, so that you, uh, uh, it helps making decisions if, if uh, you're very sensitive to magnitudes, I think. The ability to communicate. Every problem I have seen in the, in, in the product world, the development world, the business world, everything else, with the serious problems I could trace down every time to communications failure. Two people communicate. One says A, the other one hears B. And, and they don't, they don't, don't, the person who hears B didn't know that that person actually said A back and forth. So you make decisions based on bad data and the bad data is not because it was bad, it was corrupted in the transfer process. Um, very, very few technical people are good communicators. I am. It, it, it's one, that's the reason I'm sitting here instead of out there in the lab hammering away. Uh, and, and that's uh, uh, everything to do uh, with, with people understanding your real meaning. Oh, <laughs>